Hello and welcome to today's camper van chat. I'm in my motorhome and I am in Schusselfeld in northern Bavaria, Germany. And Schusselfeld is really only quite a small village, but it does have two major motorhome producers here. One is Morello, the other one is Concord. They produce really big machines. And today I'm going to talk about something which is very small. It's a van which hasn't yet come out. It is the Nissan Westphalia Michelangelo. Now, Nissan is not a big name in the campervan world, but uh, Westphalia may change that a little bit anyway. Now, the vehicle itself is based on the Nissan NV300, and if you want to pack as many people as you can into a small van, then this is just the one for you. It measures only 500 centimeters long by 2 meters high by 195 centimeters wide and has six seats, four sleeping places in two beds, two in the roof, two, two below. It's got a kitchenette, a wardrobe and a bit of storage space. Now, the Nissan NV300 Combi Premium DCI 145 has a tailgate, sliding door and 2.9 ton gross vehicle weight. It has a 1.6 litre turbo Euro 6B diesel engine knocking out 145 horsepower or 107 kW. Now, the four rear seats can be removed and the front, uh, the drivers and the passenger seats can be rotated by 180 degrees so that you can uh, sit around for dinner should you so desire. There's a 31 litre compressor fridge and a two burner gas cooker. And cooking utensils can be accommodated in four drawers and a large drawer for pots and pans. When not in use, the cooker and stainless steel sink are covered by a real glass plate, as you get with just about every van in any case. The four sleeping spaces measure 2 meters by 125 and uh, for, for below, and that in the roof is 2 by 135. Uh, 2 meters by 135 centimeters. And both sleeping uh, areas are equipped with cold foam mattresses. Blackout blinds are uh, around the vehicle, so you shouldn't get disturbed. Warmth is provided by Eberspracher's really good Airtronic D3 Plus heater, and that knocks out 3 kilowatts of power. Now, the interior of the Michelangelo is characterized by what Westphalia considered to be a pleasant color scheme and high quality materials. The floor's in an oak look. The furniture's been chosen for friendly bright fronts with aluminium applications using roller blinds. There's space for a 2.8 kilo gas bottle and a 27 fresh water and 25 wastewater tank are on board. Obviously, there's a 12 volt fresh water pump as well. You need to power that somehow and that will be done via the second battery to 95 ampere hour one. There's also a 230 volt charger and an electronic, sorry, an external uh, power supply. So the, the vehicle's got air conditioning, cruise control, navigation system with a seven inch touch, touch screen, it's got radio, well, as all vehicles have just about, and a leather steering wheel. The equipment of the Michelangelo also includes 17-inch alloy wheels, painted bumpers and mirrors, and dark tinted windows from the B-pillar backwards. So, it'll be coming out in the spring of 2018, and uh, as part of the warranty, uh, you'll get, Nissan will give it five years for things it's responsible for, and Westphalia will give it you five years for the things that it is responsible for. So, you've got uh, quite um, a lot there. Now, unfortunately, as you'll have noticed, there's no film, but I do have these photographs. And uh, thanks to that, uh, um, you can have a vague idea. How I don't know how much it's going to cost, but if you look at my site, motorhomefulltime.com, if I find out how much the cost will be, I will write it down there. If it's not there, it means I don't know. There also might be a film there, but of course I'm going to have to see it first to be able to do that. Now, these small vehicles, the problem is, 
is that often they try to do two things at once, which is trying to be a uh, run around daily run around at the same time as offering some camping uh, possibilities and often they fail to do either one or the other and in this case I can't say because I, I haven't uh, actually seen the thing it will get a bit squashed in there and without a toilet in the shower it may get a little bit uncomfortable nonetheless if you do want a vehicle you can you knock around in every day and you may be going out for the weekends and want to sleep in it I'm sure you can rig yourself a toilet and something to wash yourself up with in any case and let's face it there is uh, a 27 litre fresh water tank so you've got some water